everyone and welcome back to my channel film scene where I review films and television series for you guys. This week I'd like to review Atlanta which is Donald Glover's new show on FX. It follows two main characters. Um, one is Donald Glover's character and he acts as the manager for his cousin known as Paperboy who is an up-and-coming rapper in the Atlanta music scene. Um, so the, I've only seen two episodes so far. Um, so for me I think that the show is very well written and I think that the first episode established the characters very well. Um, so you have Don Glover who is the the very complex character um, as we find out that he recently dropped out of Stanford. Uh, he went there for about three years um, and, then so, and then he also has a baby mama and a daughter as well um, and he has some sort of money issues and he has a strained relationship with his parents so there are a lot of layers within this one character. Um, and then you have his cousin Paperboy, who, as I said, is an up and coming rapper. And they are in family again, so that's also a very interesting element to the story as well. And then there's another character who is the sort of quirky best friend who is always high and just kind of has a few quick lines every once in a while. Um, so, episode two is as I said, where a lot of the themes are starting to emerge. Um, one of the main themes is with Paperboy and how he is planning to reconcile his violent side with his musical side. But there's a few scenes in there where we have people coming up to him and admiring him for his musicality and for his ability to rap and his talent. And then you have others who um, we look up to him for his more violent side. Um, there is one one guy who came up to them when they were in a chicken shop, I believe, and he says that you're the one real rapper left in Atlanta. And he says this because um, Paperboy was recently put in the news for shooting a guy in the parking lot. And he says, I admire someone who is like willing to get violent, I'm paraphrasing obviously, but someone who's willing to get the nitty gritty within, you know, the, the community. Um, but also people who admire him for his for his talent, as I said before, so it's really um, I think that'll be a very interesting um, sort of trope later on for this series. Um, is how people will, will reconcile. How can I be successful within this music community and keep myself out of jail, or do I need to be violent in order to be more successful and in order to have more exposure? So there's these two sides of this character that are coming into question and he has to figure out his his moral compass essentially. Um, there's there's also um, the question of mental health as well, I think is really interesting that's brought up within the show. Um, it's when Don Glover is in the, the waiting room in the jail um, and Paperboy has already left and he's been, he's on the outside now, he's, um, his bail has been set and he's out and he's free and then you have John Glover who is inside and a lot a lot ensues within this this very tiny space with all these individuals who are in there for one reason or another um, and what you obviously can't ignore in this waiting room is that they're mostly black men um, and then there's like one woman I believe but um, but two two main issues come up while he's in this waiting room um, to be processed through the system and to get his bail set and to essentially be set free. Um, and one of them had to do with mental health. And there is one individual, I think his name is Lee, and it's clear that he has some sort of mental disability. He goes into the waiting room and he goes and drinks water from a toilet and he comes out and then a cop approaches him and then he spits at that cop. Um, and this is not by any means a violent act, I don't think. It was just, that's just his mind, you know? That's just his mentality. And it was harmless, essentially. Um, but then the cop went very extreme and he hit him in the face with his billy club. He fell to the ground and then there was a struggle and then he was arrested again, or apprehended, I'll say. Um, and then Donald Glover says, well, he needs help, obviously. He doesn't need to be in jail. He needs some sort of professional assistance. And one of the cops says, oh, just shut up. You know, like, you don't know what you're talking about, kind of. But I think it was just a very interesting um, issue to bring up within this community as well. 
And the second um, thing that was brought up was with um, Don Glover, he was sitting in between two individuals. One on his right was a man, on the left was a, a transvestite. Um, her name is Lisa, who used to be a man who's now a transvestite. Um, and these two on the, on the opposite sides of Don Glover were saying how they used to date and they were like flirting, you know, whatever. And then other people in the room are telling this man, oh, well, that, that's a man, you know, that, that's a dude, you were dating a, a dude, and they started making fun of him and, you know, calling him the F word, and, you know, it just, it kind of builds and builds and builds, and this man is just getting, like, visibly frustrated, not with the idea of her being a man, but with his peers judging him for being with a man. Um, I think that's, that is just one issue that is very, obvious within the rock community, I feel, because there's a lot of use of the F word. And um, and even Kanye West had an interview a few years ago with, a, with I think it was MTV, and he was saying how gay is the opposite of rap, which that was really interesting, and how if you like a man and you're a man, then you're less masculine and you're, you're subpar and, you know, there's all these other sort of um, connotations with with that, with liking a man, with being in love with a man and having sex with a man. And then it was, there's one line that was really interesting is when this guy said, um, like in jail, it's not gay, you're just in jail. So if you have sex with a man in jail, that's just how jail is, but you're not considered gay, you know? And there's also the term like the download. So there's just, there's all of these implications that come along with liking a man and so that that was also a very interesting thing for Don Glover to bring up with, you know, like um, retaliation as well within this this poor community um, within Atlanta and Hippie Boy is in this this gas station and he sees this man looking kind of sideways at him, not really sure what he wants. And after Hippie Boy pays for his gas and his drink or whatever, he leaves to get back in the car with his friend, um, and he doesn't even pump his gas. He just, he just goes away, he just drives away because he sees the man looking at him again when they go outside and there's like, you can tell he's afraid, but he has this persona, right? He has to, to show that he's a strong man and that he, it's okay, you know, he, he's, he'll take care of himself. Um, but you can still see the fear in his eyes, I thought that was, that was really interesting. This, so he speeds off and you can tell that that's always going to be in the back of his mind because he shot someone and then his friends or his his gang or whatever, I'm not sure, will come back and, you know, want justice. And so there's always that in the back of his mind. I will continue watching because I think, it's, as I said, it's a really well-written show and I can see where it's kind of, I can see that there's a lot that could be developed within this show. Um, but there are a couple of issues that I had. Um, one being that there wasn't enough ties to Atlanta quite yet. Um, I'm sure that will come come later, of course. But as of right now, looking at this series, I could see this happening in any in any city, you know, because I don't see Atlanta in there yet. You know, you always hear about Tupac and Biggie in East Coast versus West Coast, and Atlanta is sort of in that um, sort of dialogue, but. And as far as this series goes, I don't see Atlanta in there quite yet. Um, I'll see more of why Atlanta is important in this rap story, you know, this history of rap, why Atlanta, you know, that's what I'm more interested in. Um, and also, I could definitely tell that Don, that Don Glover wrote this. He's obviously a talented individual, and I understand that he is the main character and he he gets a lot of the screen time. Um, but on the other hand, I want more from the other characters. I want more from Paperboy and from the third character and from just Atlanta as a character itself, as a role within the lives of these people, which, yeah, that is basically my review of this very in-depth review, I guess, of Atlanta and the series. And I look forward to seeing more episodes and to seeing more from Don Glover in the future. And yeah, um, thank you all for watching. I appreciate your time and I hope that you have a nice day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.